Let's take a look at what we got in the garage here today. This is Justin Pollock's 2017 Ford Mustang drift car. Very excited to be working with Justin this year. Justin uh, runs Roush Performance Engine uh, as well as uh, flashed PCM. So he needed some additional data and wanted to integrate our new AQ1 OBD2 data logger as well as our new X-Series gauges to have for monitoring. But he wanted to take that a step further and tie the gauges into the AQ1 utilizing the AM net CAN bus. So that's why the vehicle's here. We got Jason from engineering in here. Tell us what you did. So basically what we did, since these X-Series gauges are CAN enabled and they transmit over their own addresses that are already pre-configured over AM net on all of our AM net enabled devices. Uh, what we did here is we took our AM net Y cable, uh, which then we took the two can or the can high and the can low wires, put the proper X series terminals on them and plugged them in, plugged them in to the back of each of the gauges. And then what we did was we used these two connectors here between each gauge and daisy chained them up. Took the last one on the chain and plugged that into the AQ1 and then went into the software and set the software up to receive those channels and log those channels and and once the session's over we can go in and download the data and See all the data from the gauges over AM net rather than having to use analog inputs. Awesome. Well, let's light it up. Let's take a look at how the gauges look inside the car and then maybe we'll take it for a spin, get some logs so we can show everybody how it comes in on the software. Sounds good. Okay, let's get a little closer look at what Justin has going on in here. He's got uh, oil temp, oil pressure, water temp, dual lambdas, one for each bank, fuel pressure, and volts. Thanks to Jason, all of this data is now being piped to the AQ1 OBD2 logger via AM net CAN bus. Turn the ignition on the car. Turns the AQ1 on so we can come in here. We're connected when we opened up. AQ1 is going to automatically download the logs for us. I'm going to come in here into AM data. I'm going to open the project that I created for this specific car. And then this here is our project explorer. We select our files here. Over here we have a channel list showing us all the log channels that are available on AQ1. And from here, we have our X-Series CAN data. We can drag and drop this in into here. I've already pre-configured this to show fuel pressure is the orange line here. Oil pressure is the green. And we've got our two uh, AFR lambdas that are identified, uh, bank one and bank two. Very cool. And we also have the OBD2 data coming from the OBD2 port, and that's Which, over in the channel list, right? Yep. And we just drag and drop, and we can show that data here on the, on the screen, scroll through. Awesome. Hey, why don't we show everybody how they can get the data? Absolutely. So back here in the AQ1 software, uh, in order to get the AEM net data, we come over here in our category list, select AEM net. Now this has already been pre-configured, but what we can do, if we're setting this up for the first time, we click on this auto discover. It's going to auto detect AEM net devices on the CAN bus. Once it does that, check it out. There's the it, gauges tells you all the gauges you have and it's as simple as clicking OK and now it's pre-configured and set up for you. 
And that's about all you have to do to set up AEMnet X-Series CAN devices. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. So as you can see, it's very easy to get access to your data, not only get some of the best visual monitoring with the X-Series gauges, but you also get some of the best, fastest, most affordable, and easy to access logging with the AQ1 OBD2. For more information, visit aemelectronics.com.